another toy review. Today, thanks to the guys over at japancool.co.uk, we're taking a look at this. This is a 1144 scale high grade Gundam kit by Bandai from the Gundam X series and is piloted mainly by Witsu. And it also has a transformation gimmick. So without further ado, I'm going to throw this down to my Gundam builder monkey Lee who lives in my basement and he's going to fix this up and give us a bit of Gundam goodness. Here you go Lee! completed. What a gorgeous looking figure. First of all, let's talk about the build. Now he's a standard 1144 high grade scale, so there's no use of the inner frames and uses the basic polycaps. Build time was approximately just over an hour, but that did include Lee doing the panel lining around the white areas with a Gundam marker. He's fairly anime accurate, although there are very, very small minor details like the missing red tips on the missiles. The gates and joints were on the normal side positions on the parts, so sanding and filing is required to smooth out the assembly. As you can see, there's an awful lot of white on this guy, so there was quite a bit of panel lining to be done to really emphasize and bring out those details. He is glorious though, what a beautiful figure. It always amazes me though how such a simple process like getting a Gundam marker and just going around those panel lines can really, really bring out that hidden detailing. Now, being a Gunpla kit, there was no glue needed on this set, although we did glue the face panel plate on. Just for how intricate and fine it is, it did have a tendency to keep popping off. So just a little dab of glue on the back there has held that securely in place. The build itself was pretty straightforward on this guy, although we did have problems with the knee joints. You have to press them in pretty firmly until you hear a click. Uh, they just weren't quite sitting in there right. It didn't quite line up, but uh, that's a little bit of brute force and ignorance, and that went in the tree. Just to cover articulation on the Gundam, uh, it still amazes me how articulate these kits actually are. The head itself can go up this much, down that much, and we can get a full 360, although it is slightly hindered by those back thrusters there. Just have to rotate it all the way around. The shoulder flaps do move up. Uh, that's partly due to the transformation. On both sides, we have these wings which come out and flip around. The shoulders themselves, they do fully rotate, but again, are fairly hindered by this uh, backpack section. They rotate in themselves upon the uh, ball joint there. And we have a double jointed elbow, so we get a really nice bend there. The wrists, are on a rotation and they have to separate at the fist to slide the gun in. The waist joint does rotate and this entire back section does rotate with it so you don't have any clearance issues there at all. You do have a forward and backwards motion on the upper chest. The side skirts and front skirts lift up allowing for a really good range of movement on the legs. Go that far forward and that far back. We have an upper thigh swivel. We have a double jointed bend at the knee. Again, only hindered slightly by his butt skirts. And the feet themselves go forward and back. And we also have a separate motion on the toe. And we have a nice range of pivot there as well, so we can get him in some pretty dynamic poses. For those who want a fully anime accurate model, there's a small section just by the head there, just that circular section, that needs to be painted grey. And as I mentioned earlier on, the missile tips just need to be painted red. 
Now the guns themselves can also be stored on the legs. So our first port of call is to just pop open the hands just by removing the back tab section. Remove the guns and place those hands back together. And the guns can store nicely on the side pods, just placing the tab on like so. Now let's get him transformed. Unfortunately, the next step is slight parts forming as we get with most of these transformable Gundam kits. Now applying pressure just on the side and front of the head, you wanna just pull that section off and that removes the neck tab as well. Like so, just place that to one side and we wanna remove this front chest panel by sliding that off. Now flip up the front chest, like so, and then come round to the wing and rotating that and bringing that up so it's level. Now rock this chest section forwards, like so, and then pull and bring forward that nose cone. I wanna make sure the arms are bent backwards and you wanna come in and rotate this waist section around making sure it clears that backpack, like so. Then once you uh, just bend those toes down, close this section off here. Uh, it's entirely optional, but I like to just, uh, whether you want the guns on the side there, I like to uh, actually have them round, plug them into the arm tab, and uh, have them kind of facing forwards, like so. There's also an option to remove this uh, section just here, untab this, and there's a peg port in there for the flight stands. So there we have it, so with a little bit of uh, parts forming and a wee bit of uh, imagination, we have a semi-passable aircraft. Um, considering this is a build-your-own kit and it's an hour's work, I think that's pretty good that even with a little tiny bit of parts forming, we get a jet and it's transformable. And I think that's a really nice touch. There we have it, back in his bot mode, very, very impressed with this kit. Overall, it's a good value for money. You're getting a fair bit of kit there for your money. He used every single piece on the sprue. Sometimes you get the odd piece left over. Uh, this guy used everything. I was a little bit surprised he didn't come with a sword. Uh, most of the Gundams do come with swords, but this guy does come with two guns and those rockets on his shoulders, so uh, beggars can't be choosers. Here he is with a few other action figures just to give you an idea of his size and scale. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and this figure has really opened my eyes to the Gundam genre, and I think I've just stepped on a very slippery slope. Thanks again to the guys over at Japan Cool. Make sure you check out their site by clicking in the link in the description below. And make sure you pay a visit to benscollectibles.com. There's a little information bar up here in the top corner. Make sure you click on that. That'll open up a link to my page. From myself and the mighty GW9800 Gundam Airmaster. Thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.